Ah, what? Perfect timing. Uh, this is... What's your name again, sir? Milo Strange. Detective Llewellyn Watts? Charmed. Uh, what is this regarding? Walt Whitman has been abducted. Uh, Walt Whitman is dead. Don't say that. Walt Whitman, the poet? Walt Whitman, the peacock. Someone has absconded with him. I'll leave you to it then. But it's a bit of a head scratcher, but I'm sure you'll crack it, Watts. You're smirking. I assure you. It's fine. I understand. Mockery is a defense deployed when a person is confronted by nonconformity. I'm sure you're familiar with the experience. Nice jacket. Hmm? Oh. Will you help me? Oh. This is where I saw him last, scratching under the lilac. Uh. Why Walt Whitman? We share the same vocation as well as the same inclinations. You're a poet? And I too celebrate myself and sing myself. And what I assume, you shall assume? For every atom belonging to me, as, as good, good belongs, belongs to you. you. <laughs> Whitman was a bit of a peacock himself, don't you agree? Strange, where um, are you? Who's that? A brute whose soul contains not one iota of peacock. My neighbor, Burl Slag. I heard you've been making accusations. Where is he, Burl? I didn't take your dang bird, you nimini pimini fop. It had to be you. You hate Walt Whitman. You've made that clear. Uh, is that true? Sure. I hate him. Drives me mad with his infernal squawking. You see, what kind of monster hates birdsong? Hmm. Who's your little friend, Strange? Oh, uh, the thing is, detective, it ain't bird song. It, it's more like squaw, squaw, squaw. Hey, excuse me, this is a criminal investigation. You'd do well to take it seriously. What makes you think someone would take it? Well, any bird brain can see this latch don't hold. A missing bird is not police business. But the law can't help you, Mr. Strange. But certainly someone would have noticed a peacock wandering the streets of Toronto. I am positive he's been stolen. Who on God's green earth would want to steal a peacock? The bloody bird likely just flew away. And landed on your wife's head? You don't like it? It's exquisite. Just send the bill to my parents. Of course, Miss Bowden. Is this your handiwork? Oh, it certainly is. A beauty, isn't she? Mm. I call her the Penelope. You should call her the Walt Whitman. Come again. He knows his name. How did you procure this peacock? I bought it off a street urchin. He claimed he had caught it in the wild. Are you suggesting that peacocks are native to Ontario? I'm suggesting I bought it fair and square. Oh, come now, it's even wearing the silver ankle band upon which Mr. Strange inscribed its name. I don't care if he dressed it in a ball gown and called it Aunt Sally. It's mine now. I paid three dollars for it. Regardless of how it came into your possession, this peacock clearly belongs to Mr. Strange. It's all right, detective. I believe this nice woman's story. And vengeance is not an instinct I incline to indulge. Tell you what, make me one of your gorgeous hats using Whitman's feathers. Name your price. Add on the amount you paid the child, I'll buy it. But whatever you do, I'm taking my peacock home. You see how happy he is? Uh, how does one determine whether a peacock is happy? By his strut. <laughs> So, I suppose our adventure ends here. It doesn't have to. Oh. I hope you will attend. Oh. Huh. I could use a bit of enchantment, couldn't you? Thank you for taking me seriously, Detective Watts. And thank you for granting me a reprieve from seriousness, Mr. Strange. Oh. Fix your latch. <laughs> 
Thank you all for coming. May this night transport us from this coarse and weary world and show us a place where we are limitless. My name is Milo Strange.